Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Marion from Life Unboxed, and today is Friday. And today is the day that this Hurricane Delta is supposed to hit Louisiana. So I'm going to be taking you through the day wherever we may be. We may be going up to my granddaughter's house uh, to stay for the day, or we may just hunker down here, or I may go to a friend's house. I'm not sure. Um, Delta is supposed to bring us 120 mile per hour winds, and it's a Category 3. So if you want to, just stay tuned for updates throughout the day. This is going to be quite, kind of a vlog, and as you can see behind me, it's very dark outside, and um, it's starting to get windy. It's about 8.45 here in the morning, and um, I'll take you outside on the deck and show you what the sky and uh, the surrounding area looks like. In the meantime, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I certainly appreciate you being here, and to my tried and trues, thank you for coming back. It uh, means a lot to me uh, for all of you to come and to view my videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell where well, you'll be notified um, when I upload another video. And uh, share the video. And so I will be back. And hopefully I'll have a little bit of makeup on my face. I did do my hair though. So that's one good thing. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Stay okay, tuned. Okay, so so far it is not... It's pretty cool though, I have to say. But it's not uh, doing much. Except for that sky, it's pretty... The clouds are moving really, really fast. And that's what it looks like here in South Louisiana. It's pretty breezy. My neighbors over there are getting all hunkered down, getting ready for uh, their, they're um, putting everything away. And so we did pretty much too, but not I guess there is a chance of these plants flying somewhere, but we'll put them away before we go anywhere. Okay, I'll be back. If you look at the topography of Louisiana, if you look at a map, Vermilion Bay is that open area in the middle of the South Central Peninsula where it kind of acts as a catch basin and that water goes in. It's very shallow generally, so it can rise much more quickly, and there's lots of little fishing communities along it and that they will likely have to endure that rising water. Now here in Lafayette, we're not going to be seeing surge, but we will have that risk for flooding and flood warnings going into effect starting tomorrow in anticipation of rising bayous, rivers, creeks, and streams. And a lot of people here, like the mayor stated, are, are still combating uh, the remnants of Laura and have weather even on the traditionally weaker or western side of this thing. So we've got to watch out for that very carefully because this interaction with the jet stream, I think, is allowing this to sort of have such the broad sphere of influence, Chris, that you have. And noting that north wind in Galveston right now, gusting over 40 miles per hour, we saw some of those images of sound side, uh, bay side flooding. So we've got to be careful of all of the uh, sort of shores that face the wind right now. So the decision has been made. We are going up to my granddaughter's house in Bruce. Louisiana, which is about 25 minutes from here, just to be safe. And uh, I'm going to take you around, show you what's going on here. Nothing much, really. Nothing much happening. It's a little breezy, dark clouds, but um, and a little bit of rain, but nothing serious yet. So let me switch you around. Be right back. Okay. So this is what's happening. This is what our neighborhood looks like. And it is a little breezy. Nothing terrible though. So I will be back to let you know what else is going on. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we are on our way to um, Jessica and Mark's, which is my grand children, my grandchildren and her husband. My son-in-law is driving. My daughter is right there. And that's what the outside looks like right now. So uh, we'll keep you posted. 
I got my Jesus and coffee shirt on, and that's what the back of the truck looks like, or the van, all packed up with stuff, food and whatnot. And that's what it looks like outside. It's starting to pour down rain, and it's getting really dark. So I'm here in Broussard with my uh, my uh, granddaughter and her husband and kids with my other family. And um, they're all inside there. And um, so I'm just showing you what's happening. It's raining here right now. Um, and you can see the trees blowing over there. So we're supposed to get the worst of the storm uh, between 4 and 8 p.m. So I will be keeping you updated um, as far as what's going on. So we'll see you in the next update. Okay, so the wind is picking up. And as you can see, the rain is coming down. And it's really pretty strong, the winds right now, but not bad. I mean, I'm like, oh my. <laughs> I have to keep cleaning the lens off because of the steam. But you can see how the rain is coming down. All right, I'll be back with another report. So this is from the inside because it's pretty wet out there and it's pretty, as you can see, everything's blowing pretty good. And it's really raining hard right now. So that's the update for now. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and the worst is supposed to hit around 4. So um, I'll check back in in just a little bit. So I'm in a different part of the neighborhood, and it's raining, and it's breezy, but it's not horrible. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This is what it looks like out here right now. Yes, sir. What do you want to do with this? Yeah. Just leave it on the table just in case you'll need it. That middle one doesn't pick up because it, it's not draining a lot of water. The middle spout? Really? Yeah. It's just the front one and back here. Well, both back here, but that middle one, it does drain out a lot of water. Okay. It's, not, well, it's not flushing out like the rest of them are. Yeah. You can hear the, um, the wind. You can see that sign right across the street there right across the way, blowing in the wind. This is through the door. I can't open the door because it's pouring down rain. So that's what we're having. And it is about 7.30 on, ooh, on Friday night. Okay. This is it. This is the wind that we're experiencing here. Oh, oh, it is bad. It's not raining, but it's very windy, as you can see. A little bit.
everybody. It's Marion, and we came through the night unscathed, thank God. It's a beautiful morning out here today. The wind was howling through the night, but right now it's about 72 degrees outside, and I'll turn you around and show you what it looks like. Hold on. All right, this is what it looks like compared to last night. So this thing right there, I want to go up. This looks like it was lifted up out of the off the ground there. But otherwise, look at that beautiful sky. And we are not home yet. We're I'm still here in Louisiana with friends. And uh, this is what the neighborhood looks like. Oops, that's kind of close. Oops. <laughs> so, that's it for right now. When I get back to Burrow Bridge, I'll show you what's going on in that neighborhood. See you in a bit. Okay. It kept blinking. Yeah. So we do have some, a little bit of damage on our right street. And the skirting. Oh, There's look at those some more. Skirting damage there. The side, the side there. Right there. That's our house right there. So we got some damage there, but nothing too. Lots of leaves. Too bad. Looking at my roof right so, now. So the rest of the story. It's Saturday morning. We're back home in Brobridge, and um, there's not a whole lot of damage. Um, so I'm going to show you, you know, the, uh, a little bit. We did lose a little bit of our siding, um, not the siding, but the skirting around the mobile home. So um, hang on, I'll turn you around and show you. Okay, so looks like everything on the porch was okay. I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty much, things did get knocked around a little bit over here, um, but otherwise, it doesn't look too bad, too worse for wear. Hmm. A lot of debris in the yard and that fence looks a little tilted over and a lot of debris back here trees and whatnot but the area itself doesn't look too bad so I just want to finish up this video um, I have to go take a shower I'm a hot mess and um, so everything is pretty much a-okay and I hope this is the last storm of the season praying <laughs> thank you everybody for um tuning into my channel if you're new thank you for stopping by and if you're my tried and trues thank you for always coming back and supporting the channel and um until the next time um i'll see you in my next video don't forget to be kind to one another it is a rough world out there and i love you all